There is so much around us that is just waiting to be discovered. From a deep dive under the surface, exploring the ocean floors, to looking up and beyond into outer space, taking a look at distant planets in far-off galaxies, there are tons of discoveries yet to be uncovered all over the world. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be diving into three discoveries from the very depths of the ocean to exoplanets light years away. Thousands of massive holes have been found on the ocean floor off the Californian coast. California is a thrilling place. From LA to the beach, there is plenty going on to say the least. The abundance of things to do does not end at the coastline, however, as there is something worth checking out in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Big Sur. While some investigation is needed, it is certainly nothing like the high street shopping or beachside fun. Scientists have uncovered a mystery, a puzzling series of holes in the ocean floor, and we are not sure how they got there. We might not have answers as to how these holes got into the ocean floor. It is clear that these newly formed spaces are popular hideouts for a number of marine life species. Plenty of small seafloor animals have made themselves at home in these dark spaces, turning the mystery holes into shelters. Researchers that are checking out these strange holes are from the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute and they uncovered a staggering 15,000 unexplained holes in the sea floor. These are not small circles on the floor. These are large, noticeable holes. The average gap spanned 11 meters in diameter and 1 meter in depth. 30% of the pits had human rubbish within them. Not only were the fish living in the holes, but also living within and alongside the rubbish carelessly tossed by neglectful humans. A further 20% found items like stones, kelp holdfast, and one even had a whale skull within it, though sediment that was found surrounding the holes remains empty. The research team was able to discover that these holes exist at all only due to another survey being conducted. The initial survey aimed to study underwater features known as pockmarks. These are bigger dents in the ocean floor, though they are significantly bigger than these holes, clocking in at an average 175 meters wide and 5 meters deep. Pockmarks are significantly easier to research, as they can be seen, detected and identified on ship-mounted sonar. This makes observations and data much simpler to obtain, and so we have known pockmarks line the ocean floor since a 1999 survey. The pockmarks we know of cover 1,300 square kilometers of the sea floor in the coast of Big Sur, with about 5,200 pockmarks accounting for this space. Despite knowing about pockmarks for much longer than these newly found holes, we still do not have any inkling as to what causes either to occur. The Big Sur coast has been considered for an offshore wind farm, and so before any further discussions could go ahead regarding that, more investigation into the odd holes was necessary. One theory suggests that the holes are the result of gases, like methane, bubbling out from underneath the sea floor. If this were true, this would be vital information when it came to the placement of the wind turbines. The Imbari team deployed underwater vehicles to see what more could be found. These robots were automated and fully decked out with sonar devices. The team did not find any evidence of methane, as had been predicted, and even more unexpectedly, there was no evidence of the pockmarks having been active at all over the last 50,000 years. Still, the mission was useful, as this was how the team found the other holes, smaller than the pockmarks. The sonar from the ship had not allowed these to be seen. They had become clearly visible in this new data collection. The next step was to deploy remotely operated vehicles fitted with cameras to take another look. To help differentiate these holes from the much larger pockmarks, the team has begun to refer to them as micro-depressions. The initial observations here seem to suggest that the micro-depressions have been formed much more recently than the pockmarks, have steeper sides, and they have trails of sediment, the team has speculated that the animals living in the rubbish and other items within the depressions could be carving into the holes, making them larger over time. 
The researchers wrote in their paper, these observations imply that marine trash is at least partly responsible for approximately 4,500 of the 15,000 micro-depressions and provide some clues as to how these micro-depressions are created. The current hypothesis is that an item, whether that is a whale skull or a few items of rubbish, fall and settle on the sea floor. Marine life then decides it seems like a comfy place to set up, moves in and begins to live in and around said item. Their movement disturbs the sediment, meaning a small divot is made in the sea floor, from which the micro-depressions are eventually formed. This is just a hypothesis and one example that would fit under this explanation. One flaw here, however, is that some of the micro-depressions do not seem to have any items, be that rubbish, skulls or anything similar within them, and this theory does not account for those items. For now, however, we have confirmed that the micro-depressions and the pockmarks are different things, not just different sizes of the same phenomenon. This is due to a lack of subsea floor gas activity and the two having morphological differences. Exoplanet 2M0437b We have so many fantastic creations here on Earth that it can be difficult to remember everything else that is out there. Scientists have so much to investigate and research beyond our planet that it can be impossible for the general public to know what research to follow. It is always exciting, however, when new planets are discovered in different galaxies and solar systems. These are exoplanets and researchers hope their study can help us understand more about the origins of the universe, how Earth formed, and if other planets could support life the same way Earth can. Of course, a key aspect to the study of exoplanets is learning how they form and studying their early development, though this is easier said than done. One exoplanet first discovered in 2018, 2M0437b, is thought to be incredibly young, as far as planets go, giving great opportunities for researchers to probe a little further into its origins. This exoplanet is estimated to be just a few million years old. By comparison, our solar system's planets are 4.5 billion years old. The young age of this exoplanet has led scientists to speculate that this is still as hot as lava, with the high surface temperature being put down to its recent formation and the energy that was released during this process. The baby exoplanet was spotted using the Subaru telescope when it managed to capture a stunning shot of the planet reflected in its star's light. The Subaru telescope is based in Hawaii, at the summit of the Mauna Kea volcano, but is operated from Japan by the National Astronomical Observatory of Japan. Some initial research showed that 2M0437b is very large, multiple Jupiters in size in fact, as well as revealing the sky-high temperatures of the planet. Professionals have noted that being able to directly observe the planet provides us several opportunities, meaning we can look at the composition helping us see where and how it formed, as well as observing the gravitational orbital tongues on the parent stars. There is plenty more research opportunities waiting to be explored. GJ1132b There are lots of unique and awesome things about planet Earth. That goes without saying, but the atmosphere might not be the first thing you think of. However, for those of us who are a bit more into our science, the atmosphere is a big deal. Until 2017, scientists had not found any planets the same size as us here on Earth with an atmosphere. That is until exoplanet GJ1132b was discovered. Scientists found an atmosphere around this exoplanet, which is just 1.4 times the size of Earth. The study, published in the Astronomical Journal, detailed the findings of the atmosphere discovery. The observations from the research team suggested that the planet had a thick layer of gases. The initial findings thought of this as either water, methane or both making up this atmosphere. Whilst the 370 degrees Celsius temperatures is not reassuring in this instance, being able to find, detect and analyse the atmospheres of exoplanets is a good way to begin to assess whether that planet could support life. GJ1132b is not a likely contender to be home to life. Being able to detect atmospheres could prove useful in other planetary studies, however.
but what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.